All right, so we've had some requests. The people wanted to see kind of a point of view, hands-on. Oh, trapping tutorial, I guess you'd call it. We've done a lot of highly edited stuff this winter. And I'm doing some solo trapping right now by myself. And I'm on this place right now and I'm doing a little beaver trapping. So this is kind of something different than what you normally see me do. I do love to catch some beavers, but most of our stuff is coyotes and raccoons and stuff like that. But this landowner's got some, some ground that the beavers are backing some water up on some timber and over some roads. So we're coming in here and doing a little trapping. I set this trap yesterday. And you can see I got a beaver and a 330 conibear. And basically this log was already here and I made a caster mound right there and kind of guided him in this little spot and smacked him. Perfect. So I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to get him out in just a second. I wanted to show you another set that I make. Um, and it's kind of fun to make it because it's kind of like coyote trapping. Foothold trap on a drowning slide. And this is far from ideal. Um, you know, I think probably a drowning rod is a little bit easier to deal with uh, than my drowning cable because I've got to carry in a rock. But all these places that I'm trapping, they've got rip wraps somewhere. And I'll just go find a long slender rock and uh, attach my cable to it. You can see this. It's a big old piece of rip wrap. And I use a piece of rebar to stake it down back here at the trap. I'll build a caster mound. Broke the dam next to it. That way they've got to come and, and fix the dam. They'll spell my caster mound. I've got some lure. So I didn't even bring beaver lure on this trip. I made my own. If you look at this. It's just an old lure bottle. Sorry, Andy. Andy Weiser, this was some old, this was an old coyote uh, lure jar. I cleaned it out and I just took some caster out of one of the beavers that I caught earlier, chopped it up, put a little olive oil in it because it's all I had. And it's been hammering them. I've killed 20 some beavers here in the last few days just doing this. So I'm gonna put the camera on my hat. I'm gonna make this set. I might do a little explaining, but watch and see. Little, little point of view, hands on. So we've got a little bit of a indention in this bank. I'll probably just go right here. <sighs> Somewhere to attach my cable up here by the front of the water. I'll go ahead and set my trap even. Got a little bit of twist in my cable here. There we go. Hand tension is good. So I'm going to want this to sit about, got to get the twist out of my cable here. Okay. And I attach that swivel to the cable and it can slide. So here's my, let's see if I can get this right here. So here's where I've anchored it to the bank and it can slide this way. But when he tries to go back, it kinks and it doesn't want to go. So that's the, that's the idea of the, the drowning slide. Before I put this in the water and make my caster mount, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my weight in the water. There's our deepest part. Looks good to me. Cable's nice and tight. It'll slide down and it'll dispatch him pretty quick. So, next most important part is making a little step right here for him to come up on. And I'm probably going to be targeting a front foot here. I've had no problem with ring outs. This trap, it catches them high, super high on that front leg. So I'm going to build, you can't see the trap because of the water, but basically right here is my pan. And I'm going to build my caster mound right there out of some mud. See if we can find any mud. I'm sure we can find some. Making mud pies just like when we was a kid. Only well, this time we ain't gonna eat them. Just making a feature that will kind of stick out in the darkness to that beaver. Make it look kind of natural because beavers will naturally do this to mark their territory. And beavers are extremely territorial. That's pretty good. Just something and you can kind of start to see that trap. So it's right here offset just a little bit 
And what I'll do, if I can find me something. Yeah, here we go. Call this the old chin poker. So that beaver's basically gonna be swimming up. And it'll come up to this trap. And we, we need something to, to make him lift his head up and put his foot down. So I'll just give him a little, little motivation. Little chin pokers. I got some more of it here. I might even go a little bit bigger on it. Something like this. Ground's really hard underneath that. So the beavers have already been kind of using it. But yeah, this is something to kind of poke him in the chin and get him to put his foot down. And I'll just take a little bit of my homemade gaster and pop it right here. Now that scent will carry all the way across all this water. He's going to smell it. And he'll be right there. That trap a little deeper, but you can start to see that trap in the water now. Pretty slick. Pretty slick little way to catch some beaver. They can't stand it. But yeah, so now I've got... I set that one yesterday, but I didn't have an extra set. So I came in and I caught that beaver over there, but now I'll basically... I'll have it all covered each side of it so it doesn't matter what the wind direction is going to be beaver the beaver huts right there and they've been going up and down this ditch so we'll clean them out here in a short order <laughs> 